Welcome into sports. I'm Amy Zimmer. GHSA volleyball and softball teams have reached the state quarterfinals and there was plenty of elite action Wednesday night here in southeast Georgia. Island Sharks battling the Northwest Whitfield Bruins in Class 4A action. Best of five sets picking this one up in the first. Sharks Avery Burke on the serve receive and give it back to Burke on the outside. A line shot right over a Bruins head for the big kill. Sharks on the free ball here this time. Outside Veronica Searsamp putting it away swinging through the blockers. This set knotted up at 24 got a win by two points. Tough serve by the Bruins. Sharks libero Delaney Gordon almost into the bleachers for the save. Burke just barely getting it over. Bruins catch the Sharks off guard with a short shot. 25-24 Bruins. Sharks once again keeping the tough serve in play. And Burke showing she can work with any kind of set to get the job done. What a slam by the region player of the year. The Sharks would battle the Bruins in the first set, pushing it to extra with the Bruins. Coming out on top, 29-27. Islands not able to take a set off Northwest Whitfield, ending their postseason run at home. Over at Calvary Day, the Cavaliers hosting the Hebron Christian Lions. Tough serve by Cavaliers' Casey Weatherington. Cavs middle blocker Peyton Graham there for the block. And Graham again swipes it away. Cavaliers outside Tinley Smeltzer finishes it with a big slam. Calvary Day fans on their feet, and this gym is loud. Cavaliers libero Alana White on the serve receive. Graham with a nice angle shot here for the kill. And Cavs student section just once again absolutely loving it. Smeltzer serves. And how about the ace to add on to the Cavs momentum. Cavaliers go on to take this set 25-17. However, would be the only set they win as the Bruins defeat the Cavs three sets to one. And more seasons came to an end Wednesday night. Richmond Hill falling to Buford in three sets at the Hill and Savannah Christian on the road. The Raiders swept by the Holy Innocents. All final scores can be found on the sports page of our website on WJCL.com. To the Diamond for more Elite Eight action. A battle of the Yellow Jackets in Brooklyn, Southeast Bullock and Rockmar in the third and decisive game. Southeast Bullock pitcher Alana Barnard in control early. She gets some defensive help too. Shortstop Shyla Thames makes the play from her knees. Rockmart able to start the scoring in the fourth. Megan Johnson at bat. And that is out of here for the solo home run. one nothing. Rockmart. Down 5-0 now in the sixth inning. Southeast Bullock comes back to score two runs. However, Rockmart able to hold them off and win 5-2 to advance. And Tuesday night, South Effingham won big to force a third and deciding game against Buford. That game played tonight with the Mustangs losing 10 to 1.